This is lesson 6 for Maps Engine Lite. In this lesson we're going to learn where the data is stored from the form submissions in the previous lesson. We're also going to look at one of the add-ons for Google Spreadsheets that will allow us to copy down a formula every time the form is submitted. So the first thing we need to do is go back to our Google Form and then we want to look at the responses from that form. So we click on View Responses. This will open up the response spreadsheet and as you can see all the responses that we have are on this form. Now what we want to do is change this date field so it's in a better format. And we're going to use an add-on to copy that formula down every time a form is submitted. Let's put a new field in here. Date visited long. The formula that we want is equals text bracket. Now the cell that we want to act the formula on is D2, so we choose D2, comma. Then we need to put in quotes the format that we want the date to appear. So DDD would abbreviate the day of the week, so Mun for Monday, Chu for Tuesday. If we put a fourth D, that will give the full name of the day. Then we want to put the date, so DD will give the date, space. Then we need to do the month. Now if we want the full month, again, we can do four M's. If we only want the abbreviation, we can use three. We're going to have the four. And then finally, if we want the full year, we can put four Y's. If we want only the two-digit year, we just use two Y's. And then end quotes, and then bracket. Return. And we can see that it's given us the date. Now what we can do is copy this down. Let's expand the length of the column so we can see everything here. Okay, now that's fantastic, but if we want to submit another record, then we don't want to have to copy it down every time. So what we need to do is go to the add-ons. So we click add-on, and then we're going to go and get an add-on. The add-on that we want is called copy down. Return. And this is the add-on that we want to add to our spreadsheet. Now I've already added this add-on to my spreadsheet, so you would just add, and then you'd need to authorize it. So I'm going to close this for now, but you can go through that process. Now what we need to do is run the add-on. So we click on add-ons, and we can click copy down, copy down settings. We then turn on the copy down settings. It's asking us now what formula row the formula is in, and it's in our second row. Our first formula is in the second row, so we choose the second row. Then it's listing the formulas that are available. We can leave that as it is and then save the settings. And then we can close this down. So, let's look at row 10. What we want is this field to be populated as soon as a new record comes into the spreadsheet. So let's go back to our form, submit one more form. So let's submit and then go back to our form and you'll see now as that submit comes in you can see it's actually now populated row 10 and we can see it's populated H10 with the correct formatted date. That concludes this lesson. In the next lesson we're going to go back to our Google Map and we're going to import our data into our Google Map.